Payday! 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 That's what they talk about. They talk about the payday. So all you hear the boxers talk about payday. Now they want, now they want to stick together. Showtime gone. They said, the hell with this. Espinosa took you guys out, signing off for fights, knowing he can't pay everybody. Guaranteed. Guaranteed money. <coughs> everybody want to be rich. Don't want to take the hard fights. They want an easy route. They ain't looking out for the future. That's okay. Uh, anyway, this video is about Terrence Crawford versus Jerron Boots Ennis. Uh, you know, at first I was like, you know, Terrence Crawford's 36 years old. Um, you know, he got to get his money now. He paid his dues. It's time for him to get that paper. But Jamel Charlo killed two birds with one stone. He made the fight between him and Terrence Crawford not even worthwhile watching at this point, and he stunk up, stunk it up with Canelo. He was there for a payday. Payday! He ran. He didn't go out on his shield, went out like a chump. And he now he didn't want to call out Terrence Crawford. I'm coming back to 154. I fight Crawford. So right now, it don't make sense. The, the, the Charlo fight don't make no sense now. Uh, uh, he did it. He did it. Now he got to come back down and redeem himself and fight Tim. So he got to fight them guys wherever put, so they can put some more respect back on his name. Cause he ain't got no respect on his name right now. And then Terrence Crawford moving up to Canelo. Uh, no, stop it. No, sir. You're not going up to 168 doing nothing. Fight don't even make sense to Canelo no more. Canelo was looking for reasons for somebody to push him. You know, to fight, but you fight welterweights. He could have fought the Mexican monster. They could have pushed him. He's looking for Charlo to talk trash and curse and scream and act out of character. Then he get in there and it's a, it's, it's, it's a stink fest. Charlo didn't want to have memes like Errol Spitz Jr. all messed up, so he ran. Canelo didn't press the issue fighting a 154-pounder. To get him up out of there. He didn't do it. So. What makes sense for Terrence Crawford now. At this point. Uh, it don't make sense for him to fight Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman ain't fought in over two years. Uh, he needs some He needs some tune up fights. And he want that payday. They all want this big old pay. Crawford wants a big payday. But now because. The only fight you got left is Gerard Boots Ennis. That makes sense now. You gotta fight him. Ain't no wrong with fighting him. Sometimes you gotta you gotta extend it and pass the baton and get these other guys, up and coming guys, a shot. Nothing wrong with that. You can beat him with ease in my book, Crawford. Then they'll put some respect on your name because you got the haters. You got this Errol Spence guys that are uh, upset that you beat. Errol Spence Jr. the way you did, so they want to see you take an L. Go on in there and dust off Boots Ennis. I don't think the rematch between Errol Spence Jr. and Cropper makes sense. Because if y'all do fight, it'll be later on next year. And if y'all fight, Errol Spence probably going to have to really retire the end. That's so stupid. I wouldn't even want to fight you. after. If you did that to me, embarrassed me like that, you just a better man. You went out on your shield. You didn't run like Charlo. Charlie boy. Nigga got the nerve. Jamel to call out Crawford after he had a track meet. I go down to 154. I fight Terrence Crawford. I'll knock his ass out. Now you want to now you want to turn back into Charlo. Lines only. Please. Fight Tim Zhu. Now he got a drain back down to 154. He ain't going to be the same. Y'all seen Roy Jones when he came down? He went up to heavyweight, come back down to fight Tarver? 
They got weight classes for a reason. You always hear that. You got you always hear they got weight classes for a reason. Dare to be great. Those two quotes, you always hear those two. They dare to be great. They got weight classes for a reason. Uh, Showtime's gone, guys. These big paydays is, is, is gone. Ain't no network gonna, gonna, gonna survive with these big paydays on top of piracy. If you ain't putting on fights we want to see, guess what? We're gonna be in the basement streaming for free. Now, if the networks is, is going to be like Steven Espinoza and they just writing cash and checks, knowing they can't pay these fighters. He just went, they just gave him a check, but he just went crazy. Pay-per-view fights, they shouldn't be fighting. Ain't nobody buying it, but y'all guarantee these fighters all this money. Boxing is the only sport that you don't have to, man, I dream I want to be pro. And you want to make it. Like the NBA, guys just want to be drafted to the NBA. NFL, you want to get drafted. Boxers can just say, I'm going to go pro. Even UFC. It's an honor and privilege to fight in the UFC. When you mix martial arts. You don't want to fight in these, these jack leg uh, leagues and stuff. You want to go to the NBA of MMA, which is the UFC. Lose too many times, they won't renew your contract. You're gone. Not boxing. You guys don't have no, you ain't, you ain't, it's too much ego. Oh, man. Nah, man. You, that person that got that many losses. Ha, ha, ha. I'm the cash, I'm the A side of the cash cow. They talking like that. Ain't no sport going to survive when, when the when the fighters is like all acting like that. So Terrence Crawford, go on and fight boot centers. I know you didn't get your opportunity. You got snubbed. It's unfortunate it happened. And the, the showtime, the head of the snake got cut off towards the end of your career where you finally got a taste of that big old big payday. With Errol Spence. Well, you know, you're trying to help the sport because after you gone, you probably still want to have a career in boxing, whether you commentate, if there's any network, or you're a trainer. Show these guys how it's done. Reach back, give Boots in. It's an opportunity. And say, look, guys, look what Keith Thurman couldn't do. Look what Errol Spence didn't do. Set the example. I don't care what you I don't care what you guys do in boxing. You gotta put on because you guys are up against something that's gonna be undefeated, which is the internet. Internet is undefeated. Your own fan base, the the the, the casuals will put you guys out of business. You need to fight. You need to have shenanigans in boxing. Need to be humble. When, when the fans say jump, y'all need to say how high. Y'all work for us. If you don't work for us, us will destroy you. You don't have nowhere to fight. That's real talk. It's scary. Keith Thurman ain't fighting nobody. Uh, Ennis and them, they said they, they team sent over Keith Thurman a contract. You think he said, okay, he ain't want to fight you. He don't want to, all he want to do is fight pay-per-view. Oh, no, I, I, I headline. I ain't on no undercards. He's been making the wrong decisions for a long time. This is time to make it right. I don't know what Keith Thurman going to do, but Terrence Crawford, you the man right now. Every video I, I see from YouTubers making videos, include myself, all you see is Terrence Crawford in the headlines. 
in the titles. Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. I stopped making videos for a while. I got sick of seeing it. And now here I am making a video with Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. You the algorithm. Terrence Crawford is. Terrence Crawford. He wants to move up 168. Terrence Crawford. He's cheating. Uh, snacks. Terrence Crawford's gloves. He's cheating. Terrence Crawford. Uh, Errol Spence Jr. rematch in Jeopardy. Terrence Crawford. They agreed to it. Terrence Crawford. Uh, Charlo. Terrence Crawford tweets. We need to stick together. Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. That's bad. When you only got one person that has, and everybody got to make videos of one guy. We don't have 10 guys uh, that's going to do big numbers on YouTube. If Terrence Crawford's not in the head, the title, you got to see Crawford. Sad. Just when he got his, just when he got his beak wet, <laughs> as soon as he got his beak wet, getting a good pay per view fight, Showtime cut the Paramount Plus chopped the head off. <laughs> Crawford, you know Crawford bad as hell. He's like, damn, I can't get another big payday. He wanted, he wanted to get about three more pay, big paydays, three or four, big old paydays. You know, you start getting them big paydays, your ego get like Mayweather. You can't tell nobody nothing. What? Give them niggas some money. Give them some money. Give them a whole bunch of money. You can't tell them nothing. He going to disrespect you in ways you ain't never seen. Act like he don't even know. He going to turn his head. Yeah. Boost want to get his beat wet. You gonna have to do that fight. Whatever network y'all, whatever network pick y'all up. Terrence Crawford says right now he's arguably the man right now. You gotta put on. You gotta get a good fight to start it off in this new network because you're not fighting this year. And Showtime's done. Boots in this makes sense. He got a little fan base over there, Philly. Million dollars worth of game. They got that podcast. They are going. They, they got a big podcast. They going to promote that fight. Then y'all both can say, Payday. Payday. Big Payday. But anyway, guys. Uh. If you missed, you can go check my last video out. I'm talking about the Showtime, how they got the, the uh, Paramount. Just hit them with a combination and drop Showtime. And Showtime had to get rid of boxing. You go check that out. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me, guys, who you think Crawford should fight. I uh, think he should still move up to fight, face Canelo. Do you think he should wait uh, for J Jamel Charles to come back down after he'd already lost? Or do you want to see him fight Keith Thurman? Then he ain't fought in two years. Just listen to it. He ain't fought in two years. Or do you want to see him fight Geron Ennis, who's kind of hot right now, and he's, who's active, and who ain't who ain't lost yet, who's undefeated? What makes sense? Be honest. No, fa no fanboy stuff right now. Just be honest. And the guys that are really for I'm a Crawford guy. I'm a Crawford fan. A fan, not a fanboy. I'm a Crawford fan. I don't right now believe that for one second Geron Ennis can beat Terrence Crawford. No, I think he's too green. I think it makes more sense for Terrence Crawford to go and fight him now. Fight him right now. He's too green. He ain't going. He ain't got the experience to beat you neither. You don't have the. You don't have the skill set to beat you, and I don't think he has the experience to beat you. So it's like a win-win. What you guys think? Uh, man, where's my my remote at? I'm gonna have to shut it off old school style. But tell me what you guys think. Um, that's it.